Hello, it's James from Autosolve. In this video, I'm going to talk you through logging into the members area. So first job is at the top of the Diagnostic Assistance website, click version 13 login, and this will take me through to a login page where I must enter my username and password. This will have been sent to you when you registered your dongle. So I'm typing my username and then my password, then I'll click login and it will take me through to the secure members area. Most importantly on the members area, uh, you can see I'm logged in as James Dillon. I'll scroll down the screen and then look at the terms and conditions. Terms and conditions of the members area basically mean that you can't put information here that you don't own the copyright to, i.e. you can't screen grab or shouldn't put uh, documents that you're not sure who owns the copyright. So click accept these terms and conditions and then you can proceed through to using the website. So the first thing I need to do when I'm logged into the members area is come and just check my personal details. I'll click on personal details and this will um, show me a screen that contains all of the details surrounding my account. I've got my serial number of my USB security key, the version number of software that I'm running on and my name. Also the business name will have been entered at this stage but I can come in and edit the details um, surrounding my address. I'll just put these in. And I'll put the town and the county and make sure then my other details, postcode, phone number, screen name. Screen name is important as that's um, going to be logged against the files I put into the, the, the members area will have my um, screen name. Also I can elect either to receive personal and private mail from within the members area from other members if they've got queries or comments about the files that I add. If I don't want to receive those, I'll put a check in the box. If I'm happy to receive the occasional message, I can leave that box unchecked. Then I choose the home region, working mainly on European vehicles, so I'll select European. And the European flag uh, basically loads the tables for the vehicles I'm working on. So, for instance, we'll have all the vehicles that are prevalent in Europe. The product is also sold in America and Australasia, so there are different lists of um, motor manufacturers for those other territories. So we're European, we click European, we click update contact and flag details. That will then adjust the data that's stored against my account. I'll continue to scroll down and just check. Here's where I can change my password if I think that's been compromised. And also my email address, if I change email provider, I can adjust that detail here also. Once I'm happy with that, I can click on to return to the member's home. So we'll have a quick look at feedback and feedback is an internal mail system within the members area and uh, the idea behind this is that you pick a reason for contacting us, my personal details and for instance you could put uh, change of address. For instance there are several key um, subject area matters that you can contact us on and change of address is the message content click submit response that gets whizzed through to the team at Autosolve and uh, we can deal with with that inquiry or that feedback we'll click return to the site the next part I can look at is videos and uh, again the, the the video can be accessed the video section can be accessed from here or from the video button so if I scroll down to the screen the icons work just as well if I click videos it takes me through to a page and at the moment there are no videos present but the idea here is from time to time we'll update with a short video on a subject matter area or a job case study that we think you might find interesting and if I go back to the home page the last piece I want to show you just now is uh, diagnostic software and the diagnostic software download page is if from time to time again we either come up with a an upgrade an update or some software change we will let you know and then this is the area that you'll come to have a look at that software and to download it to your machine so next we're going to look at add files so I can click on the add files icon and this will open up a page where I can put some details in around the files I'm going to put onto the members section. Now the add file um, allows me to put um, Pico files, so PSD data files, which are waveforms and or movie files from, from the Pico scope. I can put uh, Word documents, PDF from Adobe Acrobat, JPEGs and GIF files. Those two last files are 
image files. So for instance, if I take a photograph or I do a screen capture from uh, my scan tool, they will likely to come out as JPEGs or GIFs. You can convert the files that you've got on your computer to either one of those files pretty, pretty easily. Now, in this case, I'm going to add in a waveform. So I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to find my, I've got a USB key here, um, removable disk F, members error test data. So I'm going to pop in there the Vectra Z19 DTH fuel regulator file. Click open and that will then appear as a loaded file. I'm also going to pop in there a graphics file which is a, a JPEG, JPEG format. Click OK, click OK. And those two files now are going to be attached. I next then have the opportunity to put uh, vehicle make and model. So I can click vehicle make, I can put V for voxel and then I can either tab with the tab key across to the model and type in the letter. Oh, mine's a vector so I'm going to type a V. Or I can also use the drop down box and um, select from the pick list. 2010, engine size 1.9. Uh, the fuel type is a diesel, and again, you would fill these in to suit your own vehicle brand. I'm um, going to put the engine in, Z19 DTH. The area of concern is, we're going to put engine and engine management. The component type is, let's have a look, I'm going to type F for fuel. Again, I can scroll through the list or pull the, the drop-down list up. And as I look back through there, I can select whichever one's appropriate. So we're going to put... Um, fuel pressure control solenoid. The fault, the condition of the um, data that I'm putting in there is faulty, so it's either faulty or good. And then I can add some notes, yes please. In the added notes section, this will give me a summary of the job or the problem that I had that are associated with the two files I've listed. So fault on the vehicle was that when driven at two, three, four, five RPM, vehicle stuttered and cut out. So that's my summary. And that uh, description obviously help us retrieve the file. So I'll click on the preview and the preview then gives me a summary of the data. Confirm the selection, there's the car I put in, the component issue, engine management, fuel rail pressure and the files I've uploaded are the PSD data so PS data file and the JPEG. I can upload those files. Now, depending on the file size, that might take a, a few moments uh, for a big file. For small files, it's almost instantaneous. Once the files are uploaded, I'm then presented with a summary sheet. And the summary sheet gives me the files I've put in there um, and the job. So I can click return, back to the home page, and um, back to the member's home, and then that's my files uploaded. Next we're going to look at search files. So the search files uh, is found here under the search files database. When I click on that tab or the icon it loads up a page where I can now go through the files. Currently on this home page it's shown me a summary. We've got some basic test data, data loaded in here. So I've got uh, three Ford files, one Volkswagen file, seven from Vauxhall and one from Citroen. But uh, obviously as the members when this is launched to members and they start adding their files, the summary page will become bigger and reflecting the files that have been loaded. Uh, to search for a file, I can search just my files. So those that I've loaded on, I can click that and it will filter immediately to the files that I've loaded on. And we can see I've done two. I've done a, a Voxel Astra and a Voxel Vectra. Um, if I go return to the search results, I can search everyone's files. If I return to the search results and then I can search all files here. If I select make, I'm going to search for voxel. Um, I can be more specific if I wanted to just, just to look for Vectra. I can search on Vectra. I can search the files database. Or I can search my files. And the files database then is showing me a 2010-1900 diesel Vectra with two files added, a faulty condition, engine management, and the component type is a fuel rail control solenoid. If you want to see the files that are attached to that job, if you like, I click on the magnify in glass and that will then list um, the detail behind that individual sort of job. 
and we've got a uh, fault in the vehicle. It's one driven at 2,345 RPM. The vehicle stuttered, and I've got two files which I can review. If I click launch the fuel pressure regulator file, um, when I hit the launch button, then if I've got PicoScope opened, it will elect to fire the PicoScope up. I won't bother doing that now. Uh, or if I have a, an image file, if I click launch, it will open it up in my image editor. I can go back to the list. And then basically when I finish searching, I can go back to my members homepage. On the members area, we also have technical tips. The technical tips icon, we can search here using technical tips. Very similar format to the files where we can look and search through a file. But here technical tips are more like uh, the silver bullets or the quick fixes. Maybe you've done a job, you fixed it, and it's a little tip to save other people you know, wasting time diagnosing things that uh, you could point them in the right direction. So it's a little hints and tips worth coming in to check to see if the job that you're working on has a tip for it. We can choose tip by motor manufacturer type. So we're going to select um, Volkswagen. On our summary page, we can see all the tips that are listed. So obviously, if there isn't, uh, in this case, there isn't a, list, a tip listed for Toyota, there's no point searching for a Toyota. Obviously, as the list and the tip database grows, um, the more manufacturers that will be there. But in this case, we're going to search for Volkswagen, and that's about the detail just that we need to put in there. I'm going to search the tips database, and it will show me all Volkswagen tips. And here we can see there are three tips in there. Um, the first one, 2003, 2000, a 1200cc petrol engine with a AZQ engine code. Engine fails to crank but start. Um, we can search and use these small black arrows to sort the columns in ascending or descending order. So if, if over time the tip database grows and there's more and more vehicles in there, you can search by any one of these types. So engine size, if we search on fuel type, it lists the fuel types alphabetically, D before P obviously, and if I click that one again, it will put petrol at the top. So we've got an auto sort on the list. In each of the tips, then, the basic data shown on that front screen, if I click on the magnifying glass as before, this will show more detail. And the detail that's shown will be the data that surrounds that case. And in this technical tip, we've got um, remove the camshaft inspection plates, headed bolts, check the timing, lock off cuts are aligned correctly. So we're looking at uh, a cam timing jump error here. Uh, and this has given me a good tip to show you, um, you know, just check this before you go too far into it. You'll see at the end of this summary tip, we've also got the owner of this. So we're seeing auto underscore one has put this tip in there. If you wanted more clarification or some extra data or just to run something by, uh, this member's elected to receive private messages from within the member's area. We can click on private message uh, and you can send a private message to that user. Once we're happy, we can either return to the search results or we can return straight to the members homepage, whichever you want.